crazy in this tutorial. Are you ready for it? What's up guys? We are gonna be learning how to play Ready For It by Taylor Swift. Where's my pick? This is so much fun to play on the guitar. I don't care if there's no guitar in the song. I don't care how overproduced people think the song is. Rule number one about guitar, you can play any song on guitar. Knew he was a killer, first time that I saw him. Wonder how many girls he had left and left on it. So this is kind of really an easy song to play. The chords are really simple. There's just a couple of techniques in there. If you are a beginner, it might stump you a little bit, but I will break it down really slow so you guys can get the hang of it and then practice it on your own. My guitar is also tuned to standard and you're not gonna need a capo. We're gonna go ahead and jump into a close up for those chords. All right, starting off, our first chord is an E minor. Next up, we have a G major. An A minor. And a C major. So now that we got chords out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and break this song down section by section. So we're gonna start off with the intro, and the intro is just an E minor, but we're not gonna play it like you normally do like that. We don't want all of those beautiful strings ringing out because in the beginning of the song, we have that really loud pounding bass. So we want to mimic that on the guitar. Now to get that solid, heavy, bassy effect, you're gonna make your E minor, and you're just gonna hit down on these top two strings here, and that's it. Now if you get a little bit of the D string in there, that's okay too, but really make sure you are just focusing on the top two. Now if you're having trouble avoiding any of the other strings down here, what you can do is just lay one of your other fingers on here to just mute those bottom strings, that way they don't ring out. So whatever feels more comfortable to you. So the intro to the song is gonna sound like this. All right, so it gets a little crazy. So the first line we have down, two, three, and then you just mute it. That's all you do, no slap. Just use the side of your palm to just rest down on the strings, so. And then the second time, you're actually going to slap it. So that way you get that punch that comes after the bass, so. All right, and then that fourth time around, it picks up, it gets really fast, you get more beats in there, so. And then we're gonna slide up. All right, I'm gonna break this down really slow so you guys can follow. So basically what I'm doing is just three down strums. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna slide up, and while I'm sliding up the fretboard, we're gonna do a bunch of down up. So down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, and then it just goes into the verse. This part's probably my favorite, and it's so much fun to practice. All right, now for the verse, we're gonna continue with that E minor, surprise, surprise. It makes it really easy. This is what makes the song so easy, is the E minors for like basically most of the song. So this is what our verse is gonna sound like. Knew he was a killer, first time that I saw him. Wonder how many girls he had left and left on it. Actually, I lied. This might be my favorite part of the song. This this is so much fun. But songs like this just go to show that it doesn't matter how overproduced a song is or if it has no guitar in it at all. You can take any song and you can figure out how to play it on the guitar and make it work for you. It's such a cool thing and I really recommend that people try it and not just knock a song just because it doesn't have guitar in it or it's not real music. It doesn't matter what instrument or not instrument it's played on. It's a song, it has a melody, it has lyrics, it has a beat. So for this verse pattern, we're gonna do that same trick that we did in the intro with that kind of muted E minor, so the, to get that really bassy sound. But now we're gonna use a pattern over it that sounds like this. So I'm gonna break this pattern down without the E minor first, and then we'll add the E minor in. So let's just go ahead and mute all the strings. So I'll play it full speed first, then we'll take it slow. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. So it's down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add in the E minor. So we have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to mute after those two initial down strums. So we have down, down. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove that E minor 
and just go ahead, I like to take the last three fingers and I'm just laying them over the strings, not pressing down, just you want this. You don't want this, you want, so that way you get this effect. So the first part is on the E minor, down, down, then you have the second part that is just muted, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. I think what's going to throw some people off about this pattern is just that transition from the E minor to the muted part. So just practice that transition and really get comfortable with that before trying to throw in that entire pattern. Just like get comfortable with moving from this position to this position, back to this position, back to this position. Now our verse is gonna lead us into the pre-chorus which we are playing the exact same chord, same strumming pattern. You just wanna connect the two together so like a vendetta, different in the pre-chorus to kind of make it stand out from the verse is when Taylor kind of does a higher pitch when she sings so she goes I I I see see is really high so see and me and breeze are all the same I think it sounds really cool when you can mimic that on the guitar so just kind of let a couple of other strings sneak in there and join in so the D and D strings definitely let those let them, let them in. So we still don't want this, but this sounds really cool. So, I, I, I see how this is gonna go. Touch me and you'll never be alone. I, I, I in peace and let's down low. No one has to know, no, no. All right, now next up is the chorus, which is kind of reminding me of like a past version of Taylor a little bit. So it's gonna sound like this. In the middle of the night, My guitar just totally went out of tune. Oh crap. So the chorus is gonna sound like this. In the middle of the night, in my dreams, you should see the things we do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and break that down. So our chord progression for the chorus is going to be from G major to A minor, to E minor, there's our E minor again, and a C major. So now that we have a new chord progression, our strumming pattern is going to change as well because the melody changes. So I really wanted to follow that. So the strumming pattern is down, up, up, down, up, down. each chord. So down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. It's probably going to feel kind of weird doing two up strums in a row. So just take it really slow, practice it. Down, up, up, down, up. And of course the pace moves a lot faster. It's more like and the chorus is going to end on an E minor. Are you ready for it? So the chorus is In the middle of the night My dreams You should see the things we do Baby mm. In the middle of the night My dreams I know I'm gonna be with you So I take my time Are you ready for it? So then we have that little kind of interlude before we get into the second verse, so it's the slap. But we're actually going to slide to connect to the second verse. It's going to sound like this. Down, two, three, slap. Me, I was a robber, person that you saw me, stealing arts and running up and never saying sorry. So just 
just like the first verse and I will go over that in our full playthrough. So now we're gonna jump into what's called a post chorus. So this is a part that just comes after the second chorus and it's the baby let the games begin. And all we're gonna do here is exactly what we did for the verse. So just the I see how this is going to go. This is the bridge in the song. The progression is going to fall just a little bit different here. So we're going to start on the C major instead of the G major. So C major to G major to A minor to E major back to C major to G major and then we're going to end on A minor. No, no, no. I, I, I see how this is going to go. Touch me and you'll never be alone. I island breeze and lights down low. No one has to know, no, no. In the middle of the night, my dreams. Alright, so for this last chorus that follows throughout the whole rest of the song, we are going to have one more different strumming pattern here. And this one's really fun. It's just kind of like a very bouncy pattern and it's down, up, down, 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 up for each chord. So down, up, down, 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 up. So we'll just use the G major as an example. So we have down, up, down, 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 up. But you want it to sound more like this. We're gonna go right back into our G major, A minor, E minor, C major progression once we hit up that last chorus. So it's gonna be Baby, let the games begin. I would just strum down, mute it real quick. Are you ready for it? Awesome, so we just broke down the entire song. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a playthrough of the whole song. So let's go ahead and get started. You just see the things we do, baby. 
All right, so that's how you play Ready For It by Taylor Swift. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and feel free to drop a song suggestion if you have a cool song to suggest. And check back as Taylor keeps releasing singles because I'm going to try to keep up with them and make tutorials. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.